Have a good day at work. Have you got your lunch? Great. Have you got your sink? Okay. Love you. Hello to you. I think it's time for Thursday's Crypto Espresso, your bite-sized roundup of all the biggest stories. I'm your host, Connor, and we begin with the dark clouds looming over Meta. The tech giants just had a very painful set of results, and Reality Labs, its Metaverse division, lost 36 billion dollars in just three months. Investors in Facebook's parent company were spooked further when Mark Zuckerberg warned operating losses are set to rise even further next year. In after-hours trading on Wednesday, Meta's stock price plummeted by 20%. Overall, Meta's earnings came in at $4.4 billion for the period from July to September, and that's down 52% compared with the same period a year ago. All this comes as the firm, which owns Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp, grapples with an advertising slowdown as younger consumers flock to TikTok. Some investors have said enough is enough, describing Meta's losses as supersized and terrifying. One shareholder wrote to Zuckerberg demanding its annual Metaverse investment is slashed from $10 billion to $5 billion. Well, critics fear the tech giant is focusing on experimental bets while failing to tackle big challenges in its legacy products. In his letter, Altimeter Capital's CEO, Brad Gerstner, warned Meta has drifted into the land of excess with too many people, too many ideas and too little urgency. Another analyst declared Facebook was a revolutionary company that changed the way people communicate, but it's no longer that innovative groundbreaker. Well, one year after announcing that Facebook would change its name to Meta, Zuckerberg is standing firm, and last night he suggested skeptics are being short-sighted. He said it would be a mistake for us to not focus on any of these areas that will be fundamentally important to our future. The CEO went on to insist that Meta is doing leading work and its cutting-edge products will mature in different periods of time over the next five to ten years. But critics point to reports his flagship metaverse, Horizon Worlds, is on quality lockdown and say Meta's VR headsets, which cost up to $1,500, are too expensive. One analyst said people are not rushing out of their seats to buy VR headsets or even watch 360-degree videos. From Meta to Twitter now, Elon Musk has posted a surreal video of him entering Twitter's headquarters with a sink as a crucial deadline for his takeover fast approaches. Both sides have until Friday to finalise the $44 billion deal, which comes after seven months of bitter infighting. If they fail, the matter will go to the Delaware Court of Chancery. Footage showed Musk strolling into Twitter's San Francisco offices with his unusual prop. The 51-year-old has also changed his Twitter bio to Chief Twit and now lists his location as Twitter HQ. We have absolutely no idea why he decided to stroll into the company carrying a sink, but in business circles, kitchen sinking is a term used to describe plans to take radical action at a company. Well, the Washington Post recently reported that Musk was planning to cut 75% of Twitter's workforce in another blow to morale for staff at the social network. Critics raised fears this would have a huge impact on security and make hack attacks and inappropriate content much more likely. In the worst case scenario, there was also concerns that Twitter may struggle to get back online if systems failed. But, according to Bloomberg, Musk does not intend to go through with such drastic layoffs and denied this number while addressing staff in the office. Twitter's share price closed Wednesday's trading session at $53.35, less than $1 of the $54.20 per share that Musk had initially offered all the way back in April. Well, that's your lot for this helping of Crypto Espresso. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel, clicking on that snazzy little bell icon for a notification every time we post something new. If this caffeine hit hasn't been enough, ask Alex for more by clicking on the link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.